you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Betaville Zoo for the last time. Uh, this is the uh, the last video of this series, as uh, the beta is no more. So, as far as the time of recording anyway, unless they really pull it out of the bag and give us extended beta, which I can't imagine they will this late. Um, yeah, this is the end of the series, so we're going to have a little walkthrough, we're going to chat about the exhibits we've done, we're going to chat about what we would have done differently, uh, how we've got on with the beta, that kind of thing. So we come in here, the entrance here, um, we've kind of gone for a generic, uh, adventure kind of, a little bit Indian feel, we've kind of gone for... Jonty's thrown down everything that came with the beta. I just realised that those walls are way off. What on earth has happened there? <laughs> this is where I find all the horrible mistakes because we've rushed. Um, obviously, this isn't really up to my usual standard. I hope you appreciate because uh, obviously the beta was limited to two weeks and I wanted to get some stuff done and have fun with it. So... Uh, but we've got some uh, bathrooms over there. And on the left, we've got an information booth that people used for about a day and then didn't use ever again. He seems so happy about his job, though, that I didn't want to do anything with it. Uh, there's some staff features down there as well. Uh, mostly this awesome wall that people walk through. Uh, but let's move on into the... <laughs> it started really negatively. Uh, look at this nice fountain as we come in here. Quite happy with that. Wanted to check that the rotation still worked the same as it did in Planko, and it does, which is good. And then our first animal we placed down was over here. It was our uh, bed tapir, who is right over there. We're going to hop the fence. Whoop, there we go, and have a check out. Here we go. This is actually our third tapir that we had. Uh, unfortunately. One thing I will say that the beta showed a lot of people is that the time moves really quick in this game to the point where I'm kind of worried playing it at the moment. I'm worried letting it run because those alarms keep going off and I dread to think what's happening. Um, but anyway, there we go. He's just sort of chilling out over here. We've got quite a nice little exhibit. These first few exhibits I did were really just to kind of figure out the exhibit mechanics but I think overall they've actually uh, look pretty good. After um, after that, we did... I think the Nile Monitor was actually the second one we had a go of. Uh, here, whoop, we're up on a fence, but not do that because we'll get told off. There we go. A couple of Nile Monitors in there at the moment. Again, we've gone through many generations of Nile Monitors that mostly have been dealt with in-house, actually, because um, we, the Nile Monitors were pretty good at uh, breeding. Uh, we'll see that in a moment. So, again, kind of quite simple um, exhibit, but we did... Enclosure, excuse me. We did actually do an underground... Uh, underwater enclosure here again mostly as a proof of concept to see whether or not it works is that some food they've put on the floor that's weird isn't it in the water um, but you can come on here and you can have actually see them swimming around that's pretty sweet uh, guests don't come down here much unfortunately I think because they can see so much from up there to be honest, I think what we really need to do is if you want one of these underwater viewing areas let's kind of make it so it's the only place they can really come and see the animal and they will head down here the third animal we put in was um, was the old girl herself? Here she is, Galapagos uh, Galapagos tortoise. Excuse me. Again, actually, the second Galapagos tortoise we had, um, the first one lived a long and fruitful life until about 130 years old, um, and passed away. This one was actually the one I picked up to do our first ever pimp your habitat video. Uh, and then once I'd finished that, I didn't want to get rid of her, so I placed her in here, and the two of them lived for a little while, and now it's just her. She's about 60-odd years old now. And again, here, the sort of thing I wanted to try was to do a, a rock uh, exhibit. A rock um, shelter, excuse me. What, one thing I've tried to do with each of these ex each of these enclosures is to try something different in each one. So the tape here was pretty much, let's stick an animal down and see what happens. This one was, I wanted to really have a go at underwater viewing. This one was uh, was trying to make rock work to make a more of a natural shelter. Uh, so after those three, I think we moved over to the reptile house, actually. I think. Uh... No, no, we didn't, did we? We did our big, uh, well, originally that was timber wolves. Um, unfortunately, the timber wolves weren't very, uh, didn't hang around long due to the temperature issues. So we, they became painted dogs and we changed them into painted dogs. Um, so we have here, what I wanted to try and do was an underground viewing exhibit, which again, the guests unfortunately just don't seem to want to do much with, which is a shame because you get really fantastic views of them hanging out in their burrow, which isn't really a burrow, it's a big cave, but you know. And they can come and they chill out down here. Again, we've had a few generations of dogs now with us. And then around the front, uh, the other viewing platform here I wanted to try and do was was just that, was a platform and try and raise it up. So there's a few places you can come and see them just sort of pottering about here. Uh, but if you want a really good view of them, 
Uh, you can come up here up to this raised platform that a lot of people seem to be enjoying here. Oh, and there they are, look. Having a little potter about. Oh, and having a poo. There we go. Perfect timing, thanks. Uh, so you can come up here and have a good view of them here. And then, of course, we had a waterfall because I'm a YouTuber and YouTubers have to put waterfalls into all of their videos. I don't know if you realise this, but it's true. This is These are two of four waterfalls in this park, I think, or three maybe in this park, but we've obviously done other ones. Um, so after the painted dogs, then we went over to the reptile house. This was um, uh, based on London Zoo's reptile house uh, from the outside. And uh, I was really, really happy with how this turned out. And I was really happy with the interior as well. Unfortunately, I've lost the interior um, due to the game crash. And I had to roll the save back. And pretty much all we lost was the interior. But the, ex the exterior is still here. It's now just a shell, unfortunately, that people walk past. Um, but I didn't want to get rid of it completely because I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, and we've also done some gardening work out the front of it now as well. Uh, and also, it does a good job of covering up a uh, uh, monitor lizard jail that we had over here. Back when the monitor lizards were popping out babies like they were Pez dispensers, uh, I built a huge uh, jail pen here for all the babies to sit and grow up in, uh, which is still there despite not really being used. To the uh, to the side of the monitor, to the uh, side of the reptile enclosure, excuse me, we have uh, our warthogs. Oh, that was it. It was originally warthogs and ostriches, but the ostriches is ostriches, excuse me, uh, ended up. Uh, wandering off and we found somewhere else for them later on uh, but, and we extended the warthog and we actually got quite a few more warthogs in there there's about four in here now uh, they're probably having naughty fights because there's two boys and they're very often fighting with each other you can see they've got some scars on them look um getting those weird hangs at the moment on this build but never mind uh, uh, but they're hanging out over here and we had a nice sort of modern uh modern architecture african style shelter there that i think turned out quite nicely Oh, look, he's battered. Naughty boy, he's having a fight. So, yeah, there's four adult ones in here now. They seem to be relatively calm, so I've kind of left them to it, to be honest. Now, we did some building work here as well. Added some more bathrooms in. And some more food stores. And drink stores are the big one, because it's red hot here, so everyone wants to come and get themselves a drink. Uh, very often, because of how warm it is. Right, so let's move on here. Next up, then, we had the, uh, the conservatory, the glass house. Uh, we just put in, which is our home to peacocks. But more importantly, it was to uh, really play around with some of the more exotic planting. So we can come in here. And we've got a beautiful peacock standing underneath his statue. Look at that for a screenshot. Let's bag that boy there. Chilling out in the water. Don't blame me at all. Get yourself cooled down because it would be quite warm in here. We've got some lovely different types of planting here. Some wisteria, some bamboo. I'm uh, really quite happy with how this turned out, actually. And uh, there wasn't enough room in here for the peacock, so we opened it out this way so that they can now come out onto the grass as well and enjoy themselves down here. Wow, you get a real different view coming down at this level. I haven't done it that much. Uh, I really wanted to do this sort of posh grass. Um, somebody said the idea of using hedges uh, here. These are flattened hedges, and it, it's okay. Um, the problem is, is that the 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 texture grass uh, the biome grass is too light i think but we actually try this uh, soon in, in another video and it works a lot better uh, with in a different biome so keep your eyes out for that it's a great way of getting that sort of uh, rolled grass look uh, here they are we're all having a look at the food there it is look thank you lady for pointing out the food okay so we move on down here to this incredibly ostentatious gate um what on earth are you looking at you're not looking in there what a rubbish view you don't want to be looking around there. You want to look over here, up the up the slope, which you can, which everyone seems to want to do. But then next up was a, a different kind of glass house, a more modern rainforest glass house. Really happy with how this turned out. I think this is probably the fa my favourite thing I've done in here. I don't. I'm not happy about the litter. Where is it? Let me see it. Uffed. How awful. There's lots of people not happy. I'm not. I'm not looking at notifications i do not want to see it no stop shush <laughs> um so as we go in my idea here was that i wanted to do a really lush rainforest build that wasn't hampered by any animals welfare so we've just got in here and painted it up with so much planting and from all over the place and it meant we could do pretty much whatever we liked here and it's made it really lush and grown in i'm really happy with how this turned out we have a nice wooden bench across waterfall number three um 
But more litter, my word. It's my fault. There's no trash cans around, to be fair. And again, really heavy foliage that you have to dive past like this. <laughs> um, and it takes us up to... Finally managed to get this sorted. They're happy to watch him now. They were running off as soon as they got here before. But now they were coming and see our man drill. He is on his own, unfortunately. They're just the, the conservation credit's too expensive for any more mandrills. But where is he? There we go. Up there. Look, he's chilling out in his uh, relatively realistic exhibit. I mean, obviously, there's still... That's me alarm going off. Um, there's still loads to do regarding... Uh, realism and the exhibits in this game. We still need to work on sort of, uh, oh, what's this? Somebody said they were called slop trays or something, you know, areas where you can go and hose down animals and, uh, you know, areas that you can take them to be medicated and, and, and like second doors and uh, and eye line, eyesight lines and stuff. There's so much to deal with that we are obviously going to be looking at in the full game, especially with our zoo school series where we really rip apart a certain animal's exhibit uh, to get them as realistic as possible. Uh, but I am quite happy with how this one turned out with the sort of concrete bases and the more sort of uh, sort of utility style build for our little mandrel up here. But he seems happy, even though he's on his own, he's got really good welfare otherwise. And I just, I think this this whole build turned out really well. Really happy with this one. Before we move up to the safari then, we've got the land of the lemurs. Had loads of fun with this one. A walkthrough lemur exhibit where we can go in and check out all the lemurs. And when I say all, I mean one. We only have one left, the poor little thing holding on for his dear life. Uh, his brothers and sisters have passed away and they're just not reproducing, unfortunately. So uh, we've just got the one little one on his own now, but really happy with how this turned out. I think it worked out really quite well, uh, figuring out how the walkthrough exhibits work, um, figuring out the different sort of options when it comes to climbing. Uh, making different areas here where they can come and uh, have a little sleep or what have you. We can even do a bit of climbing ourselves when the game doesn't want to bug out. There we go. See? Uh, I think one of them is just, you think he's just on a poop, the sounds of the guests. You can even come up here, look. Oh, 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 let's get right. There we go. I don't think we can go quite across there, but no, there you go. Um, yeah, really happy with how this one turned out. And then the only other one we want to see before we move over to the safari. Uh, is the Gariel exhibit really, really chuffed with this one? I think it's probably the best exhibit I built. Um, just sort of straight up exhibit. I think it turned out really nicely. We went for sort of a um, a more sort of fabricated exhibit, less natural, but still kind of fits in with the theme of the animal. Obviously, these are found in the uh, in the sort of uh, African uh, or Indian rivers, excuse me. Uh, so we've gone for more of an Indian uh, themed temple build, and uh, and at the front here we got to try out some of the Indian. Um, market pieces just for a bit of theming. We've got really highly themed with this one compared to some of the ones we did. Uh, but then we can come down here and we can poke our eyes down as well and see. And then we come round. Obviously, a lot of this is all unfinished due to uh, you having a bit of a stuck there, are you, girl? You look like you're having a bit of a stuck. Never mind. Beta's going to bait her, I suppose. And then we can come in and just watch our uh, watch our feet. Hopefully. Get a bit of a better look at it there. Last thing we did was we put in uh, some more food and drinks over here. And then we did our safari safari. Um, again, I would have loved more time with this. I really wanted to kind of finish the series with a big sort of Serengeti star safari. Uh, obviously haven't been able to quite do it to the uh, sort of level I would have liked to. But still quite happy with how this turned out. So we can either come up here to a large viewing area that... Everyone in the in the zoo. I mean, look how busy this is. Everyone in the zoo loves this place. Look at this. You can come up here and you get good views of the sable antelope. Uh, this big spinning thing. What else have we got? Ostrich. Um, there should be some zebra. There we go. A zebra over there. Let's just zoom in. Luckily, uh, oh, look, they're all having a little sleep. The zebra. That's good. And there should be. Oh, right over there, look, a lone giraffe. There was one giraffe that I could afford <laughs> for conservation credits that's way over there, look. There we go. And we got our safari trucks driving with nobody. For some reason, they don't like the road. They don't like the rides that much. I, I'd, I'd be straight on that thing, but no, they don't seem to use it very well. Uh, but there we go. There's uh, our street, uh, quite empty Serengeti because we just really struggled getting hold of any animals. We've got some ostrich, a few sable antelope. We ended up with four zebra, which is pretty good. And then uh, our little giraffe over there. Um, and then you can either do that, like I say, or you can come down here and you can use the... Oh, there's people queuing, look. People... Are people getting on it? Oh, it's not letting people on. 
That might be the problem. Why is it doing that? I did set the timing up to be higher. Come on, let's get some people on this thing. We want to we want to see people riding it. Is it because I've turned off all the um the waiting times? Let's have a look. Load rules. There we go. There's a minimum wait time of 1. Is that what we need? Is that what we needed? What's going on here? Habitat contains a dead animal. Who's dead? Who's dead? Yeah, zebra's not drinking. Sounds about right. Animal is close to death. Well, there's a big lake over there, pal. Ah, You thirsty? Well, go and get something to drink. Oh well. As far as the beta goes, I've really, really enjoyed myself. I mean, obviously, it's, it's quite buggy. It's no more buggy than other betas I've played in, if I'm totally honest with you. And I'm sure a lot of the issues, such as animals not drinking when there's water right next to them, keepers not feeding them, are all relatively simple fixes. I think one thing we have to try and remember is that um, the, the, the severity of the bug when it comes to how much of a gameplay issue it is and the severity of the bug when it comes to how much of a programming issue to fix it is necessarily don't come in in tandem um for instance keepers not going in and feeding animals may well be a small rewrite of the keepers priority system okay but obviously it makes a huge problem in the game because keepers need to feed animals right but the bug that we have with the building mechanics, whereas if you try and duplicate multiple pieces, it puts them off the grid slightly. That's not really a huge bug. It's inconvenient. I obviously want to get it fixed, but it's not the biggest bug in the world compared to animals dying of thirst and hunger. But that may be a huge rewrite of the building system requirement requires, you know. So I think sometimes we have to bear in mind that just because a bug affects gameplay so massively, it may not necessarily be such a massive fix and vice versa. You know, it's I don't speak as a programmer, but personally, that's that's how it feels to me that you know certain things may be much much of a bigger fix uh, than uh, than not but there you go there is baserville zoo had an absolute blast playing in it i uh, really have and i think it's turned out pretty well um for a for a beta for for, um, for sort of lots of odds i've I realized that we've kind of ended up with dogs in the middle and then just like six things just placed that each episode has been uh, obviously when we come to doing zoos in the full game they will be a little bit more nuanced and we'll think about the overall layout of them as we go uh, but really beta for me has been trying different things seeing the different themes in the game basically throwing enough shit and some of it sticks really that's that's kind of how i've treated this beta it's all going away now it's all gone away by the time this video comes out um, and i'm massively looking forward to full release now on november 5th and hope you are as well loads coming on the channel before then by the way uh, you'll see another mini uh, series from the beta of planet zoo that should be coming out just after this one and also we're hopefully going to play zoo tycoon 2 on the channel i've bought a disc from ebay proper old school because you can't buy a digital copy here in canada um so hopefully i can get that up and running and we can play some zoo tycoon 2 and we've also got some prehistoric kingdom on the channel as well which is basically dinosaur zoo so that sounds pretty cool uh, hopefully that looks uh, you look forward to that and then we've got a few other series we're going to try and wrap up we've got a bit more flotsam uh, and hopefully we're going to get some planet coaster uh, finished up as well uh, loads to be going on with so hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching and until the next time be good